Welcome to the fourth video in the Teach Yourself Python List series. In the third video, we looked at spell checking, writing a program ourselves and using our own list. In this video, we're going to look at spell checking again, but we're going to use existing programming code and libraries to do the job for us. So before we start looking at that, let's talk quickly about what a library is. So a library is just something that's written by very, very good programmers. It has lots of code in it. And you can use this code to do particular things. You don't need to write the code. So what are some examples of Python libraries? Let's say you want to make a game. Then probably the most famous library to make a game is called Pygame. So you can hop onto the internet, click on it, um, and you get the, the Pygame website. Um, you can then have a look here on the website at the different projects that other programmers have already done. So let's click on projects. And even within the projects, you can see here that there's the library section. Um, so imagine you're making a game and that you want to, let's say, for example, you want to have a chat system in your game so that the players can chat with each other. Well, you can click on here and you can see that this person here you can click on that link and you'll see that they have information here and the actual programs itself, the source code. So if we click on that one there, you can see here all of this wonderful Python code that's already been done. So I can't do this and you can't do this, but other people have done this so you can import it into your program and it does it automatically. Um, it's not just for games, but what if, for example, if you want to do some science or some data connected with science, and a, a well-known one is called Pandas. Um, however, it's not like there's only one library for each particular type of sphere of Python. You can, for example, write in bird. Here we go. Data science, data analysis, hacking. So there are people who have done these. What are the main libraries in Python used for hacking? Essential Python libraries, top seven Python libraries. Okay, so that there are some examples of what you can use libraries for. So here's the plan for this video. You can't program, you use a library. Number one, we're going to go on the internet and find a library to correct the video title, to correct here the you and the use. Um, number two, we're going to have a little look at the code that's behind that library, just so you can fully understand the whole process of what's happening. Okay, let's go with number one, find and use a library. Python spell check, spell checker library, that's what we want. There we go, this looks good. Python spell checker. There it is. Okay, so with these libraries, Python itself, the program, has some libraries in it, but a lot of the libraries done by other people outside Python for Python and you need to install them on your computer with Python 3 and above you can use pip install so let's look at how to do that step number one with pip install is to go to your command line so it's down the bottom here on the Windows system you go in there put CMD that gives you the command line command line I need to open it from the administrator I'm not the administrator on my own computer Okay, now we have it there. This is what it looks like. Um, and then we go pip install PyChecker. Pip install PyChecker. In fact, it's got the copy function there. But I copied it myself. Okay. It installs it. Oh. Okay, so it's installed successfully. So this means that we now have PyChecker, spell checker, on our computer. So we need to have a look at the details here, the description. Okay, it's got this, it's got that. Installation, pip install, we've done it. Quick start. There we go. There's our code. There we have it. It's now in our program from Spellchecker import. So I talked before about importing the library. Well, this is the library. 
spell checker and from that library we've imported this function that does things <laughs> it does things it checks spelling okay so they've got their text here misspelled spell unknown something is happening so happening is wrong there um, and then the spell correction of the word so maybe we'll change something to something else yes very good John change the code you must always play with the code Gioca sempre con il codice. Always play with the code. We'll change it. We'll make that wrong as well. Some thing. There we go. So something is wrong and happening is wrong. Always change. Always change. There we go. It's corrected happening. And it's corrected something. So we can see the programming is actually doing two things. It's, it's showing us the correct version. And then it's showing us some possibilities. So this is this is wonderful. I didn't. I, I wrote. I copied and pasted this very short code, and we can see there are two functions. One is correction, and one is candidate. So again, let's play. Let's get rid of that one, and print. And what do we get? Okay. So we can see that that first one there, this one here, print. It gives you the correct version. And the second one there gives you other options, other options for that word. Okay, so there we go. That's wonderful. Let's get our original sentence that we need to check. You Use a library. Okay, it's on two different lines, so we need to do the three. Three. Okay, you can't program use a library. Let's see if that works. Spell dot unknown, and then we have a list. There's a list, and let's put in text. Okay, it's got all the ooh, all those little things there, numbers, blah blah blah. Okay, the problem is what is the problem? Press pause and think. As we don't have a list, if we look at the original one, we can see that it's a list here of individual words. So again, we need to go text list is equal to text let's split there. Okay, and then we can put that text list in there. And that should work wonderfully. There we go. So we've got library you use progress. Okay, this is interesting here because you can't program so it's picked up on library, it's corrected, it's corrected you, it's corrected use. Um, and pro interestingly enough, this program has come out as progress. Okay. And that's why they have the options one, the candidates, because it tells you programs is another possibility, not progress. Okay, so that's it for the first part. Okay. Um, Let's now go on to the second part where we look at the actual code that's behind this. Okay, so part two now, we're gonna look at the code in the library. Okay, when we have the library, things are very easy. It's, it's, it's quite nice. We just <clears throat> import from the library, for example, spell checker from, and then the library spell checker, and then we import the function import spell checker. Um, and then after that, we could just do something like um, spell checker dot unknown. Um, we could do something like spell checker or spell dot correction. So we, we could just put the dot unknown, find the unknown, dot correction, correct the unknown. That's all we needed to do. But where does this dot unknown come from? It comes from the code. So where does it come from? We're back on the page Pi Spell Checker 0.3.0. .0. Um, and this person has said that they took some ideas from a person called Peter Norvig. Um, and again, the programming world, people share things quite a lot. So the person has naturally put a link to Peter Norvig's post. So we can click on that link. And here is this person, norvig.com, Peter Norvig. How to write a spelling corrector and have a look he's written all of this up here giving you all the details giving you the code the ideas um, 
is even giving you links to further reading if this is something you're very very interested in okay so um He's giving in the story of why he wrote the code. A lot of stuff here. So let's have a look at the code itself. I'll just copy and paste some of it into Python. So this is not a teaching yourself section, I have to be honest. Here I'm just showing you the idea of the code. Um, you can see that it actually imports from another library. So the person didn't write all the code for this by the one person wrote the code for this library, and then Peter Norvig took the code from that library and put it together with his own code. And then the person who made the PySpeller library took together Peter Norvig's code and this import recode and added his own code. And then we get to use all of this and then put our code on the end of it. It's just amazing. Okay, so you can see here you've got a series of def, def, or oh, import collections from counter, another library. Def. Each definition just performs a particular function. It does a specific thing. So we saw before correction. This is the correction function. Candidates we saw before. Let's just play, and we always have to play. Let's just play with the correction, correction function. So by yourself, what I'd like you to do now is, is get hold of this, press pause, find this. Um, Come down to correction and have a play with it. See if you can do something. I'll give you one hint. In order to run something, then you need to use correction and then put in your own word in there. Put in your own word and then see what happens. And then probably you'll have to print it. Okay, so press pause and have a play by yourself. And then if you want, if you want, before you keep watching, you can have a play with candidates. You can have a play with definition of none. Okay. Okay, so we're back. We're back. Let's have a go. Correction word. So we can put in a word here, which is I don't know. Um, no, that, that's good. That's good. We can put in a word bottle like that. There. We want to correct the word bottle, and we want to print that word. Save it in there. Unexpected indent. Okay, we'll get rid of that and see what happens. No. Okay, so we have an error message. Now, when you played with this, you probably got the same error message. Um, it says here, no such file or directory big text. Okay, what's happening here? Let's have a look at our code. Aha, big text open. So you remember this from before. We opened our file before, adjectives. And in this code, you're opening a file, but the file's not on your computer. Is this a problem? Of course not. Like I said, people are sharing a lot of people share in general a lot of things on the internet when it comes to programming. So let's let's go back to that page. There it is. Okay, and this is where we have our code and big text. So we need to find a link somewhere on this page for big text. So a good way to try and find it, if there is a link, and there should be a link. It's probably called big or big text. So on your keyboard, press Control and F, Control F for find. And as you can see down the bottom here, find in page. So we'll put in big. Okay, and there you can see it's returned the first big on the page. Next one, big set. Next one down here, bigger. Next one, there it is. Big text and a link. Okay, so obviously this text is on this link. Let's click on it just to make sure. Okay, so you can see, yep, here's the text, here's the text, here's the text. And it, it is a big text. If you have a look here, I'm going to move this down, 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 down. That's not moving very much at all. Down, 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 down. So this is an incredibly big text, an incredibly big text. So what we want to do, um, what we want to do is save this on our computer. So I'll right click on that, on that right click, and then I'll save link as is it save the link? Bookmark this link. I'm not sure.
Okay, so I have saved that as um, big, big.txt. Let's have a good look. So there it is, text file, incredibly big text file. Okay, so now that I have big.txt in my saved words, when it tries to open this, it should work. So let's try it again. Candidates is not defined. So we haven't defined candidates here. Okay, now before I, I, I deleted something here, so obviously I need that. So I'm going to come back to the original. Try it again. Okay, the name candidates is not defined. Print correction bottle max candidates of the world. Ah, so I need to have something that's candidates. Hmm. So this is called playing with the code. It's a very good idea. Somebody said, I can't remember who, that 10 minutes of playing with the code is like reading 10 pages in a book on programming, or, or maybe more. Maybe they said like 50 pages. So it's very good to play with the code. Okay, so I'm looking for something. What does it say I haven't got? It says I haven't got, I'll run that again, I've forgotten already. It says I haven't got candidates, the name candidates. So in this code, I'll do control F again and just put in candidates. Okay, so that's the first time it appears, candidates. And it's not there before. Ah, define candidates word. Ah, so I need this one here, it seems. I'll put that in there and see what happens. Okay, so now we have candidates here. Ah, because this was running, like we did here with correction. This is the, the function correction. We ran it here. But within this, that there's candidates word. Okay, so now that I had to put that in there, let's run it again. Okay, now it's saying the name known is not defined. Known. Ah, that's another one. Candidates known. So I thought I could just use that one one there that's the correction, but it takes this function here and puts that function in there. Woo. And then it takes known. And then does it take set? Define. Oh no, that's just a set. Okay, I think this is the last one we need. I don't think we need these ones because here you can see that there's the brackets there and known, which means that it's running this one. So I don't think we need any more after this, but let's see. <gasps> Edits one is not defined. <laughs> so that's it. I'm playing. I'm obviously playing, obviously not sure. So wow, you need to have all of this stuff here. Let's copy and paste it in there. Boom. Okay, now hopefully it will work. No, name P is not defined. Uh, where's this word P? I have a name that's P and it's not defined anywhere. Okay, so what I might do is, this has all been a bit messy. I'll copy and paste all of that together. Because maybe I missed something somewhere. I'll leave what I put down there, that print correction bottle. Okay. There we go. Just let me close that and run it again. Bottle! Hooray! So I had the wrong version of bottle down here, and it's printed the correct version of bottle up there. So that's called playing with the code. So that's interesting. Like, all of these different functions go into each other. Um, so we can then produce the correct one. Like I said, keep playing. I'm going to play with one more thing. I might run this definition P... Oh, it's got, I have to put in a word, and do I have to put in these things? I don't know. Let's play. Let's play with it. So. Oh, that's interesting. EBOT, that gives me all these letters. Okay, so that's playing with the code behind it. And don't forget that there's, there's more code in here, and there's more code in there. And that's the beautiful thing. That's what I loved about today's lesson, that... You as a programmer, maybe you know this much, 
but people who know a lot more have put together a lot of useful libraries. Quite a cool, people. Thanks, Giuseppe. Okay, the homework, the home tasks. Number one, play with the library from the lesson. Which one? Well, let's name. The name of the library was Pi Spell Checker 0 0.3.0. .0. So play with that library. That's number one. Also, play with the code. So what was the code? The code was from the website we looked at by Peter Nor Norvik. This one here, play with that code. Okay, that's the first part of the homework. Play, play, play. Um, the second one is find one more library. When I say library, I mean for spelling. I should put that there. One more library for spelling. So the library we looked at there was called um, this one. 0 0.3 spell pi spell checker but it's not the only library for checking spelling i want you to go onto the internet and find at least one more library and then obviously if you need to pip install it import it and play with it if you like the video please like it if you have a question about anything in the video please ask me i'm more than happy to answer it have a good one